good morning welcome to another exciting time today we are going to be looking at the podcast for february 27 father we thank you for this beautiful morning thank you for watching over us while we sleep as we go into your word this morning we say teach us in jesus name amen our bible reading is taken from second peter 3 verse 11 and our topic is the end of the age the end of the age so second peter 3 11 says all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought ye to be all these things shall be dissolved what manner of persons ought ye to be going straight to the devotional it says everywhere around us we are experiencing a great new wave of humanity interest in spirited spiritism and devil worship i must take this as one of the signs that god's age of grace and mercy is approaching the end point it tells us that the time may be near when god proclaims i have seen enough of mankind's sin and rebellion it is time for the trumpets of judgment to sound if we are willing to add the appeals from the book of revelation to the weight of the other scriptures we discover god saying to us that the earth on which we live is not self-explanatory and certainly not self-sufficient although the earth on which we spin is largely populated by a rebel rebel race it had a divine origin now god is about to enforce his claim upon it and judge those who are usurpers he is saying that there is another and better world, another kingdom that is always keeping an eye on the world we inhabit. Today, just looking at this devotion, talking about the end of the age, it says all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be? When you look around you today, there is so much going on. Nations at war with other countries. And like I was saying, there there are physical war where there's actual blood shed physically. But in other nations, there are also spiritual wars. You look at some other nations, the war is about poverty. It's about so many different things. It doesn't matter where you look onto. And so we have seen these predictions already in the Bible about the end of age. And so today is just bringing to remembrance, to remember who we are in Christ Jesus. That in this earth where there is tribulation, where there is so much wickedness, the Lord is going to bring judgment on all those causing this wickedness and usurpers. And we are reminded that there is a better world than there's a better world than this one, and that is heaven. Heaven is another kingdom. We're supposed to keep our eyes on the kingdom of heaven because that is our final home. So today, are you prepared for heaven? Are you walking the walk that will take you to heaven? Because heaven is not just a place you wish you will go. It's on earth here that we, we, we pay the price. It's on earth here we acquire the passport. And the Lord Jesus has given us the Holy Spirit. He's our guide. He's our advocate. He's our teacher. He's our instructor. And he uses the word of God to instruct us in righteousness. And God has given us his righteousness as a gift. He has given us his mercy as a gift. And he has also given us his grace. So I want you to tap into those three things today as you go. And remember that your heaven is your home. Heaven is the goal. And keep your eyes on Jesus. There's a prayer here today that says, Lord, help me to be sensitive to the spiritual realm that coexists with the physical world. Thank you that you are still on the throne of this universe and that you are the one who holds all things together. So as you go today, just thank God for the gift, the privilege of being alive today. And I want you to thank God and ask him for the grace to be sensitive so we will not live as if earth is the final destination. The grace to be sensitive about the spiritual realm and it controls this physical 
So let's submit our nations before God that there will be peace upon our nations. There will be peace in our family. There will be peace in our heart. In Jesus' victorious name we pray. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow by God's grace. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe on my YouTube channel at my Blooming TV and click follow on my Spotify. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day.